hello one and all, welcome back to Max Payne, where we have a baseball bat and we hit things, and there's road work ahead, but there's more important work ahead than road work, there's shooting people work, which we are going to do. Know, man. I, I don't know about this. Quit oh. worrying, eh? think of it as Christmas, the Russians are with Santa. What? What the? Did you say the Russians are Santa? No cash refunds. We accept no responsibility for loss, loss or stolen property. Um. Okay, so we are currently looking for Jack Lapino, who apparently is going to be somewhere in a building around here. Ooh. Well. I might as well live up to my name of being a criminal, right? I might as well vandalize everything. Well, Max Payne, Master Vandal. Is there anything? Ooh, pizza, free delivery. Wait, that looks like a chicken. Uh, that does not look like pizza. But whatever. Okay. Let's go up here. Four fifty-six. What? Never mind. We'll have to find a creative way in. The headlines were a depressing read. Were they? The headlines were screaming bloody murder. The storm was a screaming duet with the approaching prowl car sirens. It was all a scream when you were down for the count and wanted for murder. Mmm, it's very depressing, Max. There's a van there? What's this van? Lights are on. 24 hour repair and service. Pump action shotgun. Okay. Thanks, I guess. Why was there a van here with the shotgun in the back? And why am I allowed to take it? Hello? <clears throat> Alright, what ifs? Let's go down here. Yo! Oh, hi. Anyone else? Yeah. Ooh, Molotovs. Yes. I love me some Molotovs. I can't see anything. Can I have a flashlight game? Oops. You know, I what I also need is a uh, more painkillers. Definitely need more painkillers. These are really, really sturdy cardboard boxes, let me tell you. All right. I trust that the game will give me, uh, you know, enough painkillers to survive. Ew, gross! This place is in horrible disrepair. Everyone is so irresponsible in this game. Okay, it's very dark. It's not really a door. Hello? Okay, sorry. Uh You you looked threatening. Okay. Whoa. The whole building was rigged with explosives. Shit. Shoot those. Oh. Maybe I should not stand in front of that when I do it. <laughs> okay. To be fair, I didn't think it was going to come right back at me. You know, like, I think that was a pretty fair assumption. I don't really need to kill those guys this time. Is there anything to loot here? Like, what's the point of this room? What's the point of it all? There's no medicine in here, right? No, okay. It's fine. Okay. 
All right, save here. The whole building was rigged with explosives. There we go. Uh, thanks to the person that people that told me to shoot the top of the uh, the barrels. By the way, hey friends, what's up? Are you guys gonna attack me? Did you know that this place is rigged to explode, and that you're probably going to die? Ooh, hello. Never mind. I don't care. Ooh. Excuse me. Cue epic music. Yeah. Can I destroy these? No. The baseball bat has a hilarious sound effect, <laughs> by the way. Uh, excuse me. Whoop. Excuse me. Thank you. Anyone up here? Deagle ammo food. Alright, I'll get to you in a second. A beaten up phone in the entrance hall was ringing. It could have been just a junkie in need of a fix, but it turned out to be something more sinister than that. Ooh. Am I speaking to Mr. Payne? Who wants to know? My name is Alfred Wooden. You must hurry. The police are on their way. Tell me something I don't know. They know you're there. How? And what's it to you? I will contact you again. The cops arrived, sirens singing in the off-key harmony of a manic depressive choir. I had a few minutes while the SWAT team would go through their usual routine. By the time they busted in, I needed to be long gone. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. Not happening, friend. Not happening. That's me. That's me. You think? Yeah. How dare you speaketh my name in vain? Whoa. Hello? What the hell's going on? Okay, that's... Someone had left a letter on the counter. Okay. Suddenly it all made sense. The bombs, the Russian mob boss making an appearance in person. Gogniti was his usual self. All talk and no walk. After I hit, the Russian has only a couple of guns left, and they can be bought. There's no freaking way he has the guts to try anything after that. As it turned out, the Russian had plenty of guts. One thing he could count on, you push a man too far, and sooner or later he'd start pushing back. What? Max Payne, this is your final warning. Got it. I don't want to kill cops. Staircase key. Okay. What the? Oh God. Uh, oh. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right. Max Payne, this is your final warning. How dare you throw Molotovs at me? Oh God. Okay. How dare you? How dare you? How triple? Oh shit. Okay, okay, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Everything's fine. Let's look around. Bathrooms are important because they could have pain killers. Very important. Yes. Oh, thank God. Three of them. That's important. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Save! Save the game. Ingram ammo. Okay, more explosions up here. <sighs> Nothing across there? Whoa! 
Holy mantles. Missed. Don't get surrounded. That's bad. Oh, Jesus Christ. You... You freaking cheater. Cheating son of a bee. Hey, come on. Do this. I can do this. Everything's fine. Frag grenades. Actually, there's a guy here. Isn't there a guy here? No, I already killed him. Okay. Someone left? I think there's one guy. I think there's one guy left still. Maybe. Yep, there he is. Get him! Got him. Yeah! That's how we do. Alright, maybe we can get out there? First, though, is there any painkillers in this here room? I think I already got the one that was in there. There, I'll take your shotgun ammo or I won't. Okay, uh. Chapter 6 Fear That Gives Men Wings. The bombs had destroyed all the stairs up to Lupino's office. The alternate route led there by way of adjoining rooftops. Oh, wow. That's fancy. Uh, really? Okay. That- this is gonna be, uh... It's never been this cold. Never ever. It's like the sky's falling. Yes, sir. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I don't feel fine. I don't feel anything. Not a thing. I'm freezing my foot off. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I feel fine. Except for this guy doesn't feel fine. Are you guys evil? I hope you're not evil. Hello. How's it going, dudes? What's up? It's really dark. Luigi's laundry. Hello, Ratty. Hello. To get to the oh. roof, I'd need to get to the elevator through the locked door up ahead. Up ahead, so pizza delivery. Never seen you before. Buzz off, Joker. Pizza delivery, most convincing freaking charisma check ever, Max. Pizza delivery. <laughs> Hello? I can't see Jack Squiddly Squat. Are you guys like just druggies? Max, oh, oh, oh. Oh, I forgot I didn't have guns. Okay, that definitely could have gone better. That was very poor play. But oh well, that's what I'm good at. Sucking at the game. I wish it was brighter, not gonna lie. Or I wish I had like some way to make it lighter or like, like a flashlight or something. Is there a brightness? Yeah, there is. Okay. Let's let's definitely pop that up a little bit. Whoa, that is so much better. I don't know if No, oh. don't shoot! I, I You know the clowns at the laundry. Me? No. You're no good to me then. What? No, 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 the laundry, yeah. I know him, yeah. Get me in there. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, do you have painkillers? Yes. Thank you. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell the difference. Uh, I don't know if it'll show in the video, but I hope it does. Uh, do we need to jump out here? Nope. 
<laughs> that was just a little experiment, don't mind me. Okay. Hello, friend. What's going on? Alright. Did I check everywhere? Because I'd like to loot things. Okay, that's fine. Are you gonna find your way? Ah, good job, sir. You found your way. Okay, cool. AI is not too bad. You're not dead. Anything in here that I missed? We are almost there. It's me! Open up! Let me in, quick! Not so fast. The password. John Woo. Come on. Okay, John Woo. All right. John Woo. Come right in. It's a trap! It's pain! Pain! Ah! Oops. I... Probably should have slowed down time there. <laughs> He's like, ooh, dead face. <laughs> okay, it's okay. We'll heal up. Mm. Let's use it's me. Dual Ingram. Let me in quick. Not this so is gonna fast. be awesome. The password, John Woo. Come on. Okay, John Woo. All John right. Wu. Come right in. It's a trap! It's a Oh yeah! Dual Ingrams! It's pretty awesome. Okay, that worked. Shotgun ammo full. Woo! They're printing money in here? Oh, that's so rude. Lousy cheaters. Did he drop money? Maybe not. <laughs> it doesn't look like he did. Hello. Drink it. Need some refreshments, Max. Yes. Shotgun ammo. Food. That looks like a different shotgun. Maybe not. Here we go. Awesome elevator music. Let's do this. I'm coming for you, Lupino. So that was really great elevator music. I liked it. Best elevator ride in a video game ever. Hey, uh, Sorry. You forgot to flush. New York City is in crisis tonight, with reports of Valkyrie-related gang war in the streets of the Bronx. Apparently, Max Payne, wanted for questioning in connection with the slaying of a DEA special agent earlier tonight, is waging a one-man war against his former partners in crime. Among the list of casualties so far are notorious Mafia members Joey and Virgilio Finito, as well as Rico Muerte, himself a fugitive from the law and a suspect for several murders in the Chicago area. The NYPD has been placed on full alert. A citywide APB has been put out on Max Payne. Deputy Chief Jim Rivera has promised to take whatever steps necessary to bring him to justice. What those steps may be remains to be seen. For NYCNN TV News, this is Kira Silver. Mmm. Digging myself in pretty deep here, aren't I? Nothing to loot? Alright. Let's do this. What the? 
Risk unknown. I don't want to go there. Damn it! I didn't have a gun out, so I couldn't. Uh... All right. It's fine. It's fine. was much to loot anyway. Did I miss anything? Pretty sure I didn't. Okay, I went this way, and then... Did I not go up the elevator yet? Oh, damn it. Well, we get to listen to this awesome elevator ride again, everybody. Pretty great. Do, do, do. Wait, wait, save. Save now. Get out now. Come on, man, I gotta pee. got it. We got it, everybody. All right, let's save here. Uh, smash the window. Switch back to these. Save. Save again here. Sweet on address unknown. That's where I always end up anyway. There we go. That worked better. Only it's not me talking to the pink flamingo, but someone who looks the part down to the finest detail, except that he's evil. I'm hiding in the shadows, watching it all unfold. The flamingo speaks. He can speak here. It says, Mirrors are more fun than television. <laughs> That's, mirrors are more fun than television. Somehow I know this, just don't ask me how. <laughs> and I, not me, but my double. Nods and smirks at this, like it was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> and then something goes wrong. And suddenly they know I'm there, hiding behind them, and they both turn to look at me with cold eyes. And the flamingo speaks again. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> What the hell? And that's when I always wake up to my own screen in that bright lily white hospital room strapped to my bed. Wow. Pretty sweet horror flick, man. Ingram ammo. Not that way. Ah, over here. Good thing these pipes are connecting buildings together. Anything over here in the blackness? Nope. Okay, guess I'm not going that way. I'm back in the building, though. In the correct building. Red, blue, green. It's always red or blue in the movies. So? Ah! Excuse me. Well, was I supposed to? Is that a? Oh, there it goes. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. It's always red or blue in the movies. Excuse me. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's go back 
to... Oh my god, I didn't realize I was really, really, really almost dead. Let's heal. Start off shotgun. Wouldn't mind some, uh... Health. Wait, this is where I came from. Oh, he's up there. Okay. Wait, no, it's not. What? Oh, crap. <laughs> crap. Okay. Can I not shoot him? There we go. I, I don't think I had my crosshair on him properly. All right. How do I... Can I jump across this? No! That's not what we do. Okay, um... Hmm. Let's use a deagle. Damn it! I can do this. Properly trained for this. There, that worked better. Okay. Save here! So, this is not where I came from, apparently, except it is. What? Supposed to jump down? <sighs> confused right now. Very confused. Oh, okay, I get it. Oh. Alright, it's fine. They're dead. They're dead. I thought there was still one left. need to go up here. Yes. Okay, I see. Whoop. Just the man I've been killing to see. Pain? Freaking fat! I knew from day one there was something screwy about you. What do you think you're doing? You're a freaking cop. You ain't got squat on us. You can't just come in here waving your peace like it meant something. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh god, you shot me! Ah! <laughs> you're dead, Pain! What the hell are you waiting for, you apes? Kill him! Kill him! With pleasure, boss. Got me to bailed. I made like cherry on fat. <laughs> what? <laughs> I made like Chow Yun fat. A crumpled letter lay on Gagnetti's desk. The letter was addressed to Don Punchinello, but Vinny had never had the nerve to finish it. Jack's gone voodoo. Just the other night, he shot Dino because he wanted to see what his brains looked like splattered on the wall. He's a freaking mad dog. We're running out of men and business fast. Gogniti had been living in mortal fear of his boss. Jack Lupino was a psycho. Hmm. Jack Lupino. All right, that's where he went, so that's where I gotta go. I'm assuming. Nothing else that I missed. Nope, can't go back. All right. Well, let's save the game. Didn't mean 
to do that. Whoops, whoops, whoops. <laughs> Alright. Save again, just because I screwed that up. Okay. So, next time on Max Payne, we shall chase after Lupino, I suppose. Or, no, catch Vinny Gogniti. That wasn't Lupino, it was Vinny. Oh! Vinny Gogniti was running scared. He could run, but with a bullet in his stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. Yep. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Nice. Gogniti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. That's right, Max. It's fear that gives men wings. So next time we shall instill fear in him and his wings. Thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.